Yeah. Okay, oh, let me look at this. I know. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is that, um, Definitely is. That's Bennington pottery. For how much? 20? Oh my gosh, I think I might have to get this. Let me just make sure because I couldn't really read it. Ah, let me see. Yeah, so this is Bennington pottery potters. It's made in Vermont. I'm going to do 20 on this. I feel like it's worth a lot more. I'm trying to think if I want to spend $20 on this. I think I might. Um, ooh, look at that. This is black glass. Eee, let me take it out carefully. <sighs> oh, wow. For 10. Oh, I have to get this. Oh, my gosh. Um, I know Ellie Smith made a lot of the black amethyst glass, and this looks like antique. I'm spending 10 on that. I'm not going to leave that behind. Um, let me put it... Let me take my coat off. So I do think this is, um, it possibly could be Fenton. I was thinking Ellie Smith, but I know Fenton did a lot of the fish handles. Um, so yeah, let's put that in. This is neat. Oh, it's heavy too. Um, black peacock stripe vase. Any signatures? I don't see one. How much is that? I don't see a price. Oh, look at the birds. I like this. <laughs> well, I should have put the Bennington pottery up in front because right after I put it back down, someone grabbed it. <laughs> someone grabbed it, that's fine. I don't want to spend that much, anyways. Um. This is pretty, the stained glass. Um, I don't really have too much luck with that. Um, if it was like a candle votive or something where you put a light in. Unless it's a lamp. Um, oh, I still have that Tiffany Dale um, stained glass lamp listed. I think for 62 that I got here, actually. That's why it reminded me. <laughs> Some um, vintage Coca Cola. Not really worth too much. Look, you get the set up here. That's cool. Chestnut for sale. I see about this egg porcelain. Um, Imperial treasures um, for $8. What's that? Let me see this. Oh my gosh, it's really heavy. Oh, it's made in China. Oh my gosh. From Marshalls or Burlington. Right, $5 isn't bad. While oh, we're down here, let's take a look. Alright, that's Marshalls too. Gosh. Okay. There's an old crack. Oh, it has the lid too. Oh, it's chipped for three. Hmm. Should I get it for four dollars? I think I will. What about the mug? 1998 Robin. Oh, it has a bird. For a dollar. Okay, so I was kind of quiet only because there was a ton of people around me. It's just awkward when it's quiet and I'm only one talking. Um, these are awesome pottery bowls. I'm having a pottery sale. I think these would be perfect. Especially this. For a dollar, oh my gosh, it has a robin. E. Alright, ooh, look at that. Porch swing for $75. I would love to have one. It's probably worth a lot more than $75, but... Can I ship that? I don't think I can. 
<laughs> what is that? A ceramic. All right, I am at City Mission. Um, I'm gonna be looking for stuff. A lot of stuff for my eBay store. All right, let's start here. I already see pottery tile. That's pretty. I want to peel this felt back, see what's signed. <laughs> it's four dollars. Still looking for the um, Matawi tile. I can't believe they'll sell for that much. I think I sold it for 85. Oh, look at the ducks. It's wood for $3. This one's ceramic. And this one looks funny. Oh my gosh, it has a little chip. Oh, Drake. All right, do I get that? No, not with a chip. If it didn't have one, I would do $3. Only because it says decoy and it has a name. Any um, fairy lamps or glassy babies? Nope. What about the dreams? Ross <laughs> looks a little bit different to me. I was thinking maybe um, blue sky. That's Yankee Candle, Ashland. Let's see what's over here. Look at these bottles. They're um, souvenir. I like those. Look at this whole bunch. I looked at that last time. It's a more modern mass produced pottery. This one too, probably. And that is spray painted on. Ooh, brass. Made in India for five. I don't know, I don't have any luck with brass. This is where I found the perfume. I think I, yeah, I sold all those. I sold one on Mercari. Speaking of Mercari, they don't have any selling fees. Selling fees. So that was awesome. I'm, I think I might start listing more on Mercari also. Squishy grapes. <laughs> Alrighty, Febreze. There. I love looking through bins. Okay. Let's see if there's anything in the clear. That's pretty decanter. Nothing's really popping out. This is different. Oh, that's why. It doesn't belong there. I keep thinking that's the Ellie Smith. Ooh, what about this vase? I just noticed the bottom. I don't know about this. It doesn't look like high quality. Like you can see the mold marks. It's not heavy enough either. Let me go to the other side. So I got these new microphones on the road. I think I'm saying the right road. Microphones, I'm trying to figure them out. I'm not using it right now because I couldn't figure it out. I might return them. They were expensive too. Nothing there. Okay. Oh, somebody bought the whistle mugs. I thought that was fire and light. Holy moly. Plastic. This pie dish. I think it's a pie.
pie dish. Um, made in Portugal. Ooh, I like that. It's definitely vintage. It has a um, sailboat for six dollars. You know, there's damage on the edges, yeah. Put that back. Look at that. How damaged that is. It's still here. There's these vintage canisters. Flour, sugar, coffee. I'm gonna pick this one up. California. I don't know. I was thinking treasure craft. I don't know. I just don't see too much value. I still have the ones in my booth that say treasure craft and it's a whole set. I just don't think the brown is in. Ooh, I like this. A little rip there for two dollars. I love um, handmade stuff like this. for the set. I just want to see the pattern. Um, Wedgewood, strawberry, strawberry and vine. I'm going to do this for four bucks, definitely. Get the whole set, I could sell it as a set. I have a box big enough for that. Let me see if there's any more. I have my car all the way at the other end. Oh my gosh, is that more? Let's see. I think so. Those aren't strawberries. It's Martha Stewart. Trickster. Those are made in Portugal. Um, only three dollars. And these. Stafford. Oh, look at this one. That's fancy. Ah, oh, inky candle. That's why it's fancy. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. I thought that was Wedgwood. We're looking at this one right now. Um, the old ivory. Bombay. Looking at all the dishes. Stoneware, Paris, we looked at that before. And what about these? Tabletops. Oh, I thought it was cologne. Right, I'm surprised I'm not seeing too much in the figurine aisle or shelves. <laughs> oh, here's one of those wooden men. Made by Hannah, Canada, for three bucks. And I'm thinking that as like a 15 to $20 sale when it's signed like that. Oh, this is a pretty bush. Made in Italy for a dollar. I just don't see too much value, even though it does say Italy. I think that's for your desk, a uh, little trash can. Ah, oh, that's what I want to look at. Made exclusive. This is cool. That's all I saw was um, macrame. It's a work board. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Should I do a macrame? I don't think I have time. <laughs> Plastic sewing kit for seven dollars. Hmm. Alright, I'm looking for stuff for train them in on knickknacks. It's um stitch. So anything like cross stitch or macrame quilts. Look how cute these are. So far, I don't know what that's for. I wonder if that's a big light handle. Let's test. Um, that's wood. But this might be big light. 
Oh, I don't think it is. I'm just just by feeling it. Only two dollars each. Is it for syrup? No, it would have a spout. Oil. I don't know. Whatever you want to put in there. Do I get it for two? Oh, look at this. All I saw was Kitty. Ooh, it's Robinson Rand's Bottom Pottery for five dollars. As long as there's no damage. Especially when it's a bowl for your animal or a person. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get it for five. I don't know, I feel like this is like a 35 to $40 item. That's just a guess. Um, utensils, I'm looking for Cutco, which I have found that here before. Sold those in the booth. Not for a ton of money, but some of it does sell for a good amount. If you find a set, um, like a new set, it could sell over a thousand dollars. Um, they made um, cutlery. What is this, a spanking paddle? <laughs> oh, it is a spanking paddle. No, it's not. <laughs> Cheese board. <laughs> this just reminded me when we were younger, we said do this. You put the beads on there, then you get wax paper and put out iron over it. And it makes um, anything you want. I think we made butterflies for my grandma. I figured we'd look at the bags. All of Michael's bags that he donated. <laughs> Mark and Hall. Hmm. The price on that is six dollars. Isn't bad. Never heard of that. Maybe I should look it up. Liz Claiborne. Heard of that. Oh, I like the Southwestern style. That's seven dollars. I like the two beads. <laughs> Maybe I should get it for myself. Oh, and the stitching on the side. I don't know, even though it is cool, I just don't see too much value for seven. Maybe if it was half of that. Um, okay. What about the wallets? A glam. <laughs> okay, so I, I already cashed out. I want to show everybody what I got. This really cute glass perfume bottle. Um, it says, made in Italy, Murano. It is not Murano. It's a fake Murano. <laughs> but it's still made in Italy, I believe. It's hand painted, so I paid two dollars for it. Whoops. A dollar ninety-nine, I mean. So I think it did pretty good. I got the Wedgwood and the um, Kitty Bowl for five. And then the Wooden Man. The wooden Man sign for $2.99. So I did pretty well. Um, what was my total? It was $15.08. So if you're interested in any of our items... Um, that I find in our videos, check out our eBay store. I have my own, which is in the description, and one that myself and Michael share, the Thrifting Twins.